Okay, so now we're gonna add our last layer of orange wool. This is also 16 micron merino wool to the drum carter now. We've got our silks on, and now we're gonna add our last layer, the orange. how much fiber I've gotten on it this time, but the last time, like I said before, I got a good 11 ounces at once on here. And we are mixing all of these, well, not exactly mixing, but we're layering these colors on top of each other to create a striped roving. So when we dizz it off, you'll be able to see all the colors striped throughout. picture in the color palette for all the colors. up until we fill the room. using a 
fine bowl like this. You want to go nice and slow so you don't ruin your fiber. You don't want to get necks. You don't want to break apart your fiber by accident. You want to treat it with love and care when you're putting it on. And again, this is a fancy kitty little Tom XL without a motor. It has a hand crank. You can get one with a motor, but you can also order the motor later on and add it. So that's pretty awesome about these drum carters. I recommend them. They've got interchangeable parts, so you can change the drum from fine to coarse to medium. Pretty great. It comes with a bunch of accessories. It comes with the burnishing brush. It comes with a little, like, doffer stick. And then you have a little hook to pull it off. And then they give you this awesome, amazing tool. It's actually a dental tool, but this helps get your fibers off when you're trying to make roving, and I'll show you how in a little bit. But you get a bunch of things with it. I had to get my, um cleaning brush elsewhere, but they're fairly cheap. You can get a cleaning brush on Etsy. They're not very much. You could even make one yourself, um, but I got this one on Etsy. I can't remember from where, but sometimes I like to just take the stuff off the liquor and I'm going. And remember to save everything. All this wool that you have on your liquor, save it and make dryer balls instead of tossing it because it can be used even though it, you don't really want to spin with it. You can save it and definitely make wool dryer balls and felt it. Look at all this. We've got a bunch of fiber here already. We could definitely make wool dryer balls out of all this. See? So just save it in a bag and then Felt it up and make yourself some wool dryer balls and have some stock or use them yourself. But we're just going to continue on with the orange. And we're just going to cover this whole layer. time I made roving on this I was able to fit 11 ounces of fiber on so it's a pretty big carter it holds a lot of fiber according to what you're using if it's really super fluffy fiber obviously it will hold less but this is merino wool and this is pretty fluffy and it holds it's held a good amount of it on so it's pretty great I'd recommend this drum carter to anybody they hand make them themselves. It takes about two weeks for it to get to you after you order it, but they hand make every piece. They hand make every carter for order. It takes a little bit of time for it to get to you, about two weeks, and then you get it and it's beautiful and it smells beautiful because they treat the wood with some type of oil. I can't remember what it is, but all you have to do is, it comes completely assembled and all you have to do is actually just put the crank on the handle and then that's it. Everything else is done for you. You just have to take this part and slide it on and put your handle on. That's it. Otherwise, it's fully assembled. This is a great, great carter. If you want a production carter and you want to be able to make a lot at once, I'd recommend this. I 
I like to paint right onto the drum, I guess. Some people like to feed it through the front. But I find when I do that sometimes, it, the liquor likes to take a lot, so I end up with a lot more waste at the end than I want. So I found when I paint it right onto the drum itself, I end up with less waste on the liquor. So I paint it onto the drum. And that way I use more instead of throwing it away. But I'm gonna make little dryer balls out of throwaway stuff, so. I want to minimize all of my throwaway stuff. I'm going to speed this up until it's done. 